All right, hello and welcome to a, another Revative video. So today we're going to be going through and adding light fixture tags. So right now I'm just going to go through and add a few uh, switcher switches, dimmers uh, to our model. And we're just, we're going to run these two little things here. So while this is populating, today we're going to walk through uh, switches, switch tags, and everything that you need to know on your Revit models and putting in these device tags. So when you have multiple devices in a project, it can be sometimes you've got a B switching or just a set group of fixtures within a room and you want one fixture to control one set and one uh, switch or dimmer to control another set of fixtures, especially if you're uh, doing something like daylight sensors um, and a lot of the other lighting control mechanisms that we have in place for many of the uh, projects these days. So again, just gonna load here, populate some lights and switches for us throughout our model. So we'll go here to a scene plan real quick um, and through this. So we've got a couple of dimmers at each door and we might have, right, like A and B, and especially with low voltage, uh, you can have two switches on the same switch leg, or we can you know, name them the same. So this might be an A switch and a B switch. A was on the inside, so A switch here, and then a B switch here. And again, you can do this for each and every um, room. So if we want, let's say that we want a the window wall, so it's a curtain wall, here. So with this curtain wall, we want a switch. We can select a switch. Let's just say that's going to be A. And then for the rest of these fixtures, we're going to select a different switch, select switch. So with this, right, we can tag our switch legs. Um, again, you can change these to whether you have the switch leg boxes or not, or if they're just uh, letters beside them. Um, so I know this doesn't look the prettiest right now. Let me see if we've got a tag here standing. There we go. And then we can remove our meters from these switches. So we've got A and B. And we can do the same over here, right? Tag our uh, switches, remove our leaders. Tag all these bad boys. So here we go. All right. So we've got A and B. And then what we can also do is we can tag our switches. And then with this, uh, we'll tag our uh, fixtures as well. So again, right now we don't have the switch tags in there. So one of the things that we need to do is edit our label. So right now it's just the circuit number, which they're not circuited either, uh, but we can add our switch ID. And for this, we'll also need to add a suffix typically to the end. Again, you can make this whatever, but uh, typically a dash or you can just add the uh, name at the end. And you do want to extend this so that they're all on one line um, and not get wrapped around. So that's one of the other things to consider here. And we might need to increase the uh, size of the box as well. So, uh, we'll load this in the project. Right. So, here you go. And then, once we circuit this up, uh, it's going to be renamed. Let's go ahead and let the circuits pick a panel open to you, right. And so, it's just the circuit number. Um, so, again, if you want to change this to where the panel name shows up as well. We need to again edit the label, um, come back in here and say panel, move that to the top. And again, we'll just load this in for now and then we'll show how it looks. So there's, there's our label. And we can apply it to this um, to all the
Since these panels aren't on the same circuit, that's why we're having a problem here. So I'm going to walk through. And again, you can put all the pictures on the same power circuit. You just know that they're on the switch leg. Um, so there you have it. And let's tag everything. One of the things that we're also going to show here um, is that you got your A and your E. But let's say that uh, you added another switch in here. Just, we'll call this one C. So with your switch leg, let's say that you wanted these four pictures onto a different switch. So first, we need to disconnect them from uh, the switch leg. Select the switch you want. So it's going to be C. Oops. So with this, you can see that they remove switch systems. So we're going to edit the switch system first. Remove these from this switch system. Uh, select switch, which we're good there. So then these four fixtures will change the switch that they're connected to. So switch, and then select switch, and A, B, no. And then create similar. Switch here. So again, that's pretty customizable on how you want things to look. Obviously, uh, throughout your model, what annotations or dashes you want, uh, but super editable, customizable for your light fixture families. And then as you saw, you can change, update uh, which switch you're connected to, and then now update your annotations. Um, especially if you've got like a really big room, it's a simple way to update that with multiple switches and easily annotate. So that is going to be your Revit tip of the day. Hope you guys enjoy and let me know what other Revit tips you would like me to show and share.